What's going on guys? Happy Fly Day. And today on Happy Fly Day, since it's hot as you know what out there, today it's 100 Fahrenheit, which is uh, 40 Celsius for the guys in uh, Canada. Yeah, 100, right? Uh, a whole lot of fish species don't like the heat, except for one. One in particular that loves the heat, and when the hotter it gets and the fish turn on more, that's right, we're talking bass. Preferably smallmouth bass in rivers. And one of my favorite ways to catch small bass is, of course, on poppers. My two go-go colors. So today, on Happy Fly Day, we're going to do a popper. Pretty easy fly. People get kind of intimidated by tying poppers because sometimes people think it's a lot of work. But really, it's not that hard. The trick is trying to find the right hook. Um, some poppers have like, uh, kits and they have a hook with them. The hook that, that comes in the kit is okay for like the pencil style or the middle style poppers, like the long skinny ones, like these. Right? Those poppers and those hooks, those are okay. But when you go with frog style popper, like this, you need something with a wider gap. Let's see if I can get that into focus. You need something with a wider gap. So you either do a saltwater hook, which would make it set back farther, like this, and then it really pops. Or you can use a deer hair stinger hook uh, style popper. So hook. So we're gonna run through the material list. How to this popper? It's a pretty quick tie actually. It's not not, not gonna lie. It's a couple, couple of materials and some foam, some glue, and bang, you're done. A couple of little tricks here along the way to help put uh, legs on it. So let's do the material list for this. So this popper, we're gonna use the Perfect Popper by Waspy. This is a number four in black. Soft Popper. And then hooks, must add, Stinger Deer Hair, size one. And you're, yeah, you might think that this little small popper is like, oh, size one is a big, is a small, it's a big hook. But you want that gap sitting on there. You want that gap not interfering with the body of the popper. So you tie your material on here and then put your popper on. That's, that's the key, find the right hook for the popper. And then check it in the bathtub or sink or something before you put, check a hook on it, make sure it still floats. It's a little tip. And then for the tail, I like the Grizzly Soft Hackle. It's really webby, moves, it's really buggy, right? Hackle, either you use it as an actual hackle or you can use it like little frog legs, take your pick. And for the, a little bit of flash, we're gonna put some black Christian in the back. Not a whole lot, just cut pieces. Just so everything else is not so like flat color, and then we're gonna use um, rubber legs in this fly, some black rubber legs to uh, make it in the front, and then we're gonna need a um, a lighter and, and a needle for these legs, some zappa gap, and then a um, some sort of uh, hook, like a crochet hook or something like that, that you can put. Uh, the legs on and then pull through. Let me see open this for you. So this is the hook. It's got a little hook on it, put a legs through that and then pull it through the body and that will get the legs through and then when oh, it's still hot and then I'll get the legs through and then you can put glue on it and the legs will stay there. So that's the material list. Now it's a device. I gotta find my coffee. Alright, just black tinted alright. So the first thing I do as a popper is I put my body, my popper, on the hook. Just got a slit in it, just slide it in there. And that way it gives me kind of a rough idea of where to start tying my material. You get it, everything kind of angled up where you need to go in the front. And then I'll just start a little bit of thread right behind the popper body. Using a black six dot. And then we'll just cut it off. And now we can take the popper off. a couple of strands of flash. You don't need a whole lot here, you just need like three strands. And we're gonna wrap around the shank with the thread. Wrap it on there. 
stick it at the back to where the hook bends around and then come back to the hook point not to go past the point now we need to put some thread wraps on the actual shank so we glue our pop around it fits on there good and we go back to where we were we'll leave them alone for now and we'll just put the materials on first so I'm going to take four of those grizzly marabous I'm going to peel the feathers off the bottom like so and two per side and the feathers curve right so we're going to tie the curve so the curve out so it's like little legs kicking and you don't want them much longer than the actual shank maybe a shank and a shank and a half long or you can put them really short you want to make them short we'll make them short compact frog easy to throw basically a, a hook shank and uh not much more than a hook shank. Make it short. We're going to tie it in right at that spot we had it earlier. And then we're going to go backwards a little bit. Tie it on the side of the. We're going to figure eight it a little bit around here. Tie the back half out so the feather sticks the way you want it. Out to the side. It like so. Cut that off. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. Kick it out that way. Same thing. Make sure they're the same length. If not, you know, just pull it forward a bit. And then they're the same length on the side of the shank. Right, cut that off. Take our hackle feather, take it by the tip. You can tie this right on the actual shank up higher because we want the extra little bit of bulk there to help put our popper body on. Not there. And then we're going to get one to forward. Pull it back. One to forward. I like a bit of fluff. Not a lot of fluff, but a little bit of fluff there. And we're going to tie that off. That, like that. Come back here. Do a little thread base on our body. Not too thick, just a little bit. Hope the popper stick. Whip finish. That's that. Turn upside down. Take some zappa gap. Dig a little zappa gap. Put some of that in the body. Or a fly. Angle this a bit. If your hook's a little forward, backwards, then angle it a bit so it's forward. So you want to drip to the feathers. If it's going to drip anything, you want an eyelet. Put some down here. The feathers have to come out. Right? Like so. Take your popper from the back and slide it on the hook towards the back. Right to the feather. Squeeze it. So the glue comes out. And squeeze it. And then we going to put legs in this thing. So we want to put legs probably like right around here. Above the, below the hook shank. Right? So we're going to heat this up. And we're going to poke it. 
through the foam. Like so. And then we're going to pull it out. Legs. Our hook. Try this again. Take two. Push that through. Push this through here. Pull that over. Like so. And then pull. It's going to be pretty tight. Let's keep pulling them until they come through. There. Three legs in there. Excellent. So then you pull them as far as you want. Usually like here. To all the same length. I'll cut one side a bit longer. And then I will put some glue on this side. And then pull those side out. There. And I got three on this side. Three on this side. Trim them so they're even. That's it. It's my popper for bass. Done. And that is my popper. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you really enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button. I'm Taylor's and Chasers. Happy Fly Day. Thanks for watching.